Welcome to day 2,478. Wow. Of what chip to know? Sharon Hornells. I'm here sharing information, hopping on journaling, and it's kind of a video log, video journal of what's working, what's not for me personally and in my businesses as I transitioned originally from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. And then, of course, back and forth again during the pandemic. Thank goodness. I've always had this belief as the internet came along that every business should have their feet in both the online and the offline world. Now, some businesses are strictly online and internet-based businesses, which there's huge advantages to that. But there's also an advantage to having a place where you can actually interact with, engage with, and test and tweak different things with real people. And I mean, real people in person, face-to-face, -face, looking at one another and communicating. <clears throat> so I believe that that's still true today and probably more so than ever. Uh, today we're doing no nonsense November the whole month of November we're doing I'm sharing a a big giant lesson learned and it's usually have been learned the hard way always the, almost always the hard way I think most of the lessons I've learned in my life have been the hard way doing something wrong and then or making a mistake or making a wrong choice or going down the wrong road or not doing enough research etc whatever uh, that has led to the biggest lessons that I've learned in my life that I've gone on to try to ensure that I don't make those same mistakes again. Guess what? There's infinite possibilities of mistakes we can make, so we don't need to make the same ones over and over again. We can just do one, and we can try a whole new thing and do another mistake, because that's where we learn. I think I've learned way more from my mistakes and my setbacks and my obstacles and challenges in life than I've ever learned from the things that came easy for me or easily to me. Uh, that's just the nature of, of my personality and how it works. So today we're talking about developing and building mental resilience. And it's a, it's a perfectly timed topic for actually what's going on, at least here in the United States. Everybody's coming off an election. Um, some people's feelings are hurt. Other people are, you know, having strong, strong, strong emotional reactions. And uh, other people are just like feeling like it's just across the board. People have got all kinds of things going on. But most of them are emotional because the truth is the presidential election really has a very small effect on the vast majority of us, right? At least that's how it should be. It should be that our country knows how to run itself and we trust that our country is running itself well. That hasn't been happening for a few cycles now and so I think people are frustrated. But how do we go about dealing with whatever happens to us both inside our life and outside of our life to be more resilient. I call it mental toughness. I think it's more about being, or it used to be called mental toughness. Now it's mental resilience. Again, a softening of how we want to really be showing up as individuals and as Americans. I think that the more resilient we are, the tougher we are, the more able we are to deal with all of the things that life dishes out to us because it gives us a whole plethora of opportunities to learn and grow and become a better version of ourselves. So I shared five things from Happify uh, that help to build mental toughness and mental resilience. The first is of course to uh, reframe negatives into a uh, positive or a way that works for you. Negative thoughts in particular. Again, we have like 80,000 plus thoughts a day. The vast majority of those are negative. Like 60,000 plus of those are supposedly negative, according to scientific researchers who study that kind of thing. Uh, I would say based on my own personal experience, it's, it's about right. It's, it builds the 80-20 rule, meaning 80% of our negative thoughts or 80% of our thoughts are negative. Uh, but the 20% of our thoughts that are positive give us 80% of the results in our life. All right. Not going to go into the whole Pareto, Pareto principle thing. Uh, we want to embrace vulnerability and being ourselves and being authentic and being who we really are. And owning that uh, in order to increase our mental toughness. Guess what? We're all human. We all make mistakes. We all feel vulnerable. We all feel like uh, victims sometimes, but we don't want to be victims all of the time, ever. Uh, we want to cultivate self-compassion. We talked about this a few days ago, how important it is to not only be kind to other human beings, but be kind to yourself. Because just like love, you can't give other people what you don't give yourself. You have to give yourself compassion and kindness just like you would other people. Fourth, we want to build strong supportive relationships. True of anything, right? If we have a good support system, we are much more easily, we can much more easily deal with challenges and setbacks. And fifth, 
we want to practice gratitude. Gratitude, again, it's a secret weapon, guys. If you're not using gratitude every day, you're missing out and you're not experiencing the things in your life that we're meant to experience here. We're meant to come and have a great experience in life, not just problem after problem and uh, misery after misery, right? We're supposed to lead happy, productive lives where we're becoming the best possible version of ourselves and setting an example for other people. So we want to make sure that we're doing that. Uh, and we do that by practicing gratitude and celebrating the little wins because the things we celebrate are the things we get more of. Uh, at least I think that's the universal law. That, but again, lots of people don't even know that universal laws exist, right? It's all a journey for each and every one of us to discover what we're meant to discover when we are ready to figure it out and discover it. I think there's a, a big awakening going on in the world right now. And it's it's fun to step back and, and watch but then to jump in and participate in as well. All right. If I can help you anyway, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, have an absolutely fabulous day. Sunday where I am. So Sunday's the day that we enjoy family, friends, and get ready for the week ahead. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.